Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to give a warning as to why I do not recommend taking BCAAs whilst in an intermittent fasting state. And this is a supplement which is branch chain amino acids. It contains leucine, valine, and also the other one is isoleucine. And yeah, a lot of people take this especially in the fitness and diet industry because they say it maximizes muscle growth and muscle recovery time and a whole host of other benefits for your physique and your fitness levels as well. So yeah, the reason why I do not recommend taking this whilst in an intermittent fasting state is because leucine more specifically has been shown through scientific research to massively cause a spike in insulin. And insulin is a hormone that is secreted by the pancreas when the body consumes glucose. And it's there so glucose can then go into the cells. So your body thinks it is getting some type of fuel source. And when insulin goes up, a protein known as glucagon goes down. And this protein is known to get your body to go into a fat burning state. So you're not going to get the full benefits of intermittent fasting. Is it going to stop all of them? No but you're not gonna be in a truly fasted state to reap all of the amazing benefits and maximize all the benefits that you can get from intermittent fasting. So this supplement could be ruining some of your progress that you're trying to achieve with daily intermittent fasting. And what I have to say is you do not need to be concerned about muscle loss at all after training or even when you're not training throughout the whole day with intermittent fasting. The supplement companies out there will try and get you to believe that you really need to take this before training, a lot of people during training and after training as well to maximize your muscle growth and preserve muscle mass and give you all these other amazing benefits that they say as well, which yeah, is really good for those things. But whilst you're in that intermittent fasting state, the body is very, very clever. It's giving you a boost in testosterone, human growth hormone reduction, insulin's going down, glucagon production is going up, and you're getting all of these other different hormonal benefits as well. And these are all widely known in the scientific field for the scientific research that's been done to preserve muscle mass, increase muscle mass at the same time, help increase your recovery time after training and reduce your body fat at the same time. So you do not need to be concerned about taking the BCAA supplement <laughs> at all whilst in that intermittent fasting state. Just ignore those people out there that say that you need to be consuming this. So yeah, for me, I never, ever, ever consume this whilst in an intermittent fasted state. And your body also thinks when you're consuming leucine, this amino acid, that your brain signals that you're in a fed state. So yeah, I don't recommend consuming it at all. If you wanna consume it, consume it just before you break your fast with the first meal of the day, or you could even take it with your first meal of the day or just after it. So yeah, just don't take it whilst in that fasted state. And what I also say as well is a lot of those flavored BCAA supplements out there also contain sucralose. Sucralose also spikes your insulin at the same time. That one I've got down there has nothing added to it whatsoever, but when they have nothing added and it's in pure powder form, it's very, very bitter and not very nice. So what I'd actually recommend is if you're taking a BCAA supplement, take one that hasn't got sucralose and all these other garbage colorings and additives added to them because this is not good for your health holistically at all. So what I'm gonna do is put a link down below for one of the purest BCAA supplements that you can buy that has nothing added to it that I would not recommend taking at all. So yeah, there'll be links down below for a US, UK and worldwide supply. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions in relation to anything that I've talked about in this video, let me know down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about this valuable information in relation to BCAAs and why I do not recommend taking it in an intermittent fasted state. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And the topics that I will talk about in many different videos are intermittent fasting, one meal a day, also be doing calisthenics workout and progression videos, also showing you what I eat for my one meal down on a plant-based diet and what I do in a day and many other different things to inspire you and motivate you to become a greater version of yourself, but also to teach you of many valuable things to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the fitness levels you desire, the energy levels and the body as well.
So yeah, if you would like to receive those type of videos, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day without fail. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.